Good evening, Mayor and City Council members. I am Steve Howlett, Assistant Director of Public Works, and this item is adoption of a resolution to levy the Waterways Maintenance District assessments for fiscal year 2021 and 22. Recommendation that the City Council, acting as a legislative body for the Waterways Maintenance District, approve and authorize one, holding a public hearing regarding the proposed assessments for the Waterways Maintenance District for fiscal year 2021 and 22, and adopt a resolution for fiscal year 2021 and 22, fixing assessments for the Waterways Maintenance District. Background. This is an actual an annual action that is necessary in order to have the waterways districts levied on the county's property tax roll. Assessment districts for the maintenance of the waterways and landscaping on public right-of-ways within Mandalay Bay was established on June 16, 1970. This waterways district was formed pursuant to the Improvement Act of 1911 in order to recover the city's cost of maintenance for the waterways and landscaping within the public right-of-ways around Mandalay Bay. Here is a map of the special districts within the city. The waterways assessment district are in, is in two zones, one and two, and they're identified in blue. For more information about this district or any other special district within the city of Oxnard, Residents can go to the Oxnard City website at oxnard.org, click on the Departments tab, scroll down to Public Works, click on Public Works, and on the left-hand side, there is a menu. And when you select Special Districts, it'll take you to a page where each assessment district is identified and residents can find more information about each specific district. Background, the Waterways Maintenance District consists of the two zones. Zone one is Mandalay Bay and zone two is Harbor Island. In fiscal year 2021 and 22, zone one Mandalay Bay will be assessed $444,258 and zone two, which is Harbor Island, will be assessed $47,949. These amounts are the same as last year. Here is a location map showing the entire waterways district with the zone one Mandalay Bay to the south and zone two Harbor Island to the north. The recommended budget for direct maintenance, including landscape maintenance, utility costs and waterway debris removal services, including contingency costs for fiscal year 2021 and 22 is $315,088 for Mandalay Bay and $31,639 for Harbor Island. The recommended budget for overhead staff costs and consulting services for fiscal year 2021 and 22 is $125,611 for Mandalay Bay and $18,447 for Harbor Island. The recommended budget for county fees for fiscal year 2021 and 22 is $1,269 for Mandalay Bay and $154 for Harbor Island. That discrepancy is obviously because Mandalay Bay is a substantially larger area with more residential units than what is in Harbor Island. Financial impact. The estimated cost for maintenance and fund balance in fiscal year 2021 and 22 for the two waterways maintenance district funds is equal to the assessments of $492,207. The amount will be assessed on the property tax owners in the district and will be placed in the Ventura County tax roll for physical year 2021 and 22. This is the same as prior years. That concludes this report and staff is available for any questions as well as representatives from our consulting company, NBS. Thank you.